Hey folks, Jiminy Critic here today, and I, what, you know what? Do you know what this is? Take a look here. You know, you've seen this, right? You know what that is? That's a bottle of what? Whiteout. This won't last long. This movie's called Whiteout, and it stars Kate Beckinsale and Tom Skerritt. Remember Tom Skerritt? He's been in a lot of good movies that are fun to watch. Not so much with this one. I was not that impressed with Whiteout, and I'll tell you why. First of all, this comes to us from Warner Brothers Pictures. Of course, it's an action crime drama directed by Dominic Cena, who brought us the movie Swordfish, remember that movie a few years back, and Gone in 60 Seconds. Those are two different movies he's directed up to this point. This movie, Whiteout, is rated R for some grisly images, some you know bloody images. There's a killer involved in this movie, and, and it's a little bit of language, so some of those things gave it the R rating, and it's just over an hour and a half long, about 96 minutes. Again, it starts Kate Beckinsale, and she plays U.S. Marshal Carrie Stetko. And she's stationed up in Antarctica just a few days before that time of the year up there. And you know, that's just a barren, isolated ice and snow land. And for six months out of the year, it's in total darkness. It's just not normal that humans even live there. And usually on this uh, station that's up there, they evacuate out most of the people at that point of the year. Anyway, well, three, four days before it comes to this time of total darkness, they, the people that work there up at the Antarctic Station, uh, especially uh, Carrie Stetko, the U.S. Marshal, they find a body lying on the ice. First murder that's ever been recorded. I mean, they determine it's been a murder by the way the body looks and what it, you know where they found it. First murder that's been recorded in Antarctica history. Sounds like it could be kind of a compelling thrill. They only have two, three days left before the place is, you know, covered in total darkness for six months. And now the first murder ever has been found, recorded, and what do they do? Well, basically, the quick preview is, do you know what this is? Have you seen one of these? You know what I'm talking about. Take a look there. I brought this today on purpose. These group of explorers out in Antarctica in modern day times find this plane under some ice and snow. The dead bodies start piling up. Kate Beckinsale and they start fearing for their lives because somebody's running around killing people that might know too much about this stuff they found out in the remote area where the plane... Anyway, I'm telling you what, there's so many plot holes you could fall right in. You could feed a family of four for a month on the red herrings that they throw around uh, trying to get you to think it's this person or that person or the other person when right up in the beginning of the movie they introduce you to who the mastermind of the killing and the stealing is anyway. Kate Beckinsale has about had Beckinsale has the same look on her face basically the whole time watching this movie in Antarctica in human conditions wind snow ice minus 65 degrees Celsius at times and they show me this and these people especially Kate and them go outside the facility with of course they got their parkas on and their gloves and boots Face is totally uncovered in the ice, snow, and wind at 65 minus Celsius. Oh, by the way, speaking of frostbite, for you grizzly folks that are like grizzly stuff, a main character loses two fingers to frostbite, and uh, you actually hear the crack and the crunch when the doc's got to cut him off because of frostbite. So if you're into that kind of thing, there is one grizzly scene like that. You have to wait till about the middle of the movie for it. Other than that, remember that bottle I brought out earlier? The screenwriter should have taken a bunch of this and just dabbed it all over the screenplay because this movie Whiteout for me absolutely went nowhere. You gotta check it out for yourself. This is Jiminy Critic, over and out. I wish I was buried in the ice after this movie, during this movie, actually.